I just heard a loud boom. You, you did? Was it a plane? That's what I was thinking. It was a terrorist attack. Bob said he heard it sounded like a rocket. I heard a plane. It seemed like a plane went over. Yeah. And then I had the boom and I looked up and there was the thing exploding from the outside. Exploding to the outside. The whole... It looked like a... Your mom said there was a plane exploded. driving over... I flying heard the over noise the... of a plane. Oh, she, you, she heard the noise of a plane and then a boom. And then I... Just like a... It was like a bomb that dropped and all the building from the inside went out like there was an explosion from the inside going out. Oh, my. I hope there was nobody at work. I hope there was no one there. That's what I'm thinking before nine. What building is it for me? It's the World Trade Center. Oh, oh, I see fire engines. They're coming. Yeah, big one. What? My hand's shaking. I am. I'm trying to see if there's people up there. I don't see people, it's just an incredible amount of smoke. So the plane had crashed into there. It is spreading. There's only one fire truck right now. They're going to have to get planes and drop water onto it. Because it's so high up. Oh, uh, really? You heard some, someone talking to you said it's playing? Oh my god, Lily's going to daycare there. Hold on, there's call waiting. Hello? Hi. Oh my god. Do you see this? Oh, so they've got it on TV. Oh my God, I have it on.
Oh, me too. I thought it was as well. This build. Oh, you're right. they said
my god! Oh my god, what's happening? Really? I think it's all about the World Trade Center. Oh my god! It was a military plane. People are running away. Oh my god, I, we just saw it happen. Where's Bob? Oh my god. Oh. Babe, are you there? It's okay. We're okay. Yeah, they're attacking the World Trade Center, not us. Where did it come in from? Uh, from the south. From the, from the south? Yeah. In the same building it went to? Yeah. It was a huge plane. Where did it fly into? So Babe, they're going to show it to you on here. I don't understand why they don't get like play, jet planes. Building's collapsing. Oh my god, it's over! Oh my god! Yeah, I think we're okay, I think we're okay. No, no, I think it was the building that's okay, flat. Yeah. Oh my god! Are we, are we okay? I think we're okay. Can you turn back on the new car? Oh, oh. oh did the power go off? Did we lose power? Yeah, we lost power.
Um, you won't be able to call it on the phone. You can try. It's working. Is it working? Oh, people are running away. They're running away. What are they going to do? You guys got to run away. I think it's okay. It's going to be blown away from us. No, no. It's the wind is being blown away. Horrific, incredible. Not to be believed Tuesday morning. We're looking at live pictures of the World Trade Center. We're just a few minutes ago, within the last minute, actually, the second twin tower collapsed. Just to recap, if you're just joining us, around 8.42 Eastern time this morning here in New York City, a plane crashed into the right twin tower of the World Trade Center, about two thirds of the way up the building, leaving a huge gaping hole, a huge fire and tons of billowing smoke. About 25 minutes later, a second jet, believed to be a 727 or a 737, 
All these people running away. Yeah. But you know, this happens every day, right, in the Middle East? You think to yourself, how lucky we are. We've never had this horrible thing. So true. Before. You're right. And just imagine living in Masaki. He went through all of this during the war. All his houses, you know, bombed. And oh, bombed really? Oh, really? You know, this is the documentarian in me that feels like I need to record this. Oh, look at like all the ashes. It looks like it's snowing. There's people getting onto the west side now, onto the walkway. of the World Trade Center building. People. The body parts, that's what I think to myself. Oh, God. Hey, guys, how you doing? Oh, my God. I'm just so sad. I know. Yeah, I'm just thinking there for the you know, next week. Yeah. I'm just saying, thank you, God. But I'm just saying, as soon as you just thank God, you realize that other people yeah. are just so... Uh, Absolutely devastated. So it's said to forget it, you know, later on I might try and go to the hospitals. I see if there's anything I can do to help. I mean, everything's, you know. I have a feeling that the only thing is that it's just going to be so hard to move around. I think you're just well, best. Well, if there's anywhere I can walk to that they have a hospital. But even, even walking around, it's just a disaster. It's like a no man's land out there. Well, I'm not going to do anything that's, you know, that <sighs> adds to the misery. So I'm glad you got home here earlier. Yeah. God. Oh my God. So you see on the beach? Did you see that movie? No. What was it? The nuclear war. Oh God! I'm glad I didn't. Just smoke. And we felt the whole ground, the whole building shook. In fact, our cameraman even put one of the captains in his car and drove him down to a command post. The people that you're seeing here are pretty much all emergency workers. Many of them I've seen in the last two to three minutes, quite frankly, are coming out of here. Remember this: these are professionals. They're coming out of there looking literally stunned, in shock. Many of them struggling for breath. Obviously, in serious distress, breathing problems are the biggest problem for those who manage to make it safely out of Oh my god, there's no more World Trade Center. You can't see much more than a block south of me right now. And the World Trade Center probably stands about 10 blocks south of where I am at this moment. And as you can see now, the dust is beginning to pick up here. It really depends on which way the wind blows as to whether or not we get heavy dust or not. But at this point... on the ground with all the ash.